How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, yeah, today's Rambles, today's video, this is part of the series of uh, videos that I'm making. The story behind my photographs. And basically that, you know, I wanted to document the photographs. Obviously when you're taking photographs, it's okay the photographer knowing the story behind it. But sometimes it's good to let other people know because say rather than just people guessing. And that's what this series of uh, videos is about. If you're not familiar with the series, Check the link up there on the right hand side that will take you to them. Now the photographs themselves, it's not about them being uh, technically perfect. It's not about them being award winning photographs. It's just me as a photographer wanting to document, you know, the story behind it and putting it down in hard copy. Um, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. A lot of feedback there has been very, very positive. And it's really for the future generations also to know because uh, there's no use, you know, holding on to that information and keeping it to yourself. Because let's face facts here, we're not always going to be here. And it's good to probably put it down hard copy, either written form or in video. And that's what this video here is all about. So this video is about, I used to call it the wee man in the park. And I'm just opening up here. I came across this wee man here, he was uh, from West Belfast. The photograph was taken, I would say in the early 90s, possibly around about 1992. Possibly even earlier than that, but I, I'm putting it around the early 90s anyway. And I used to see this wee man walking up and down the Falls Road. And, you know, I never knew nothing about him. I just get a smile over nodded and I used to see him. But he used to always go down, this is called the Dunville Park, it's just off the Falls Road. And he used to always go down there every single day and sit and feed the birds. So this time here I seen him. And this is the first shot. I only took uh, three photographs of him. See, the old days with the film, you had a ration how many photographs you had taken. Now I did I probably would have shot about 20, really milking the photographs. But this is the, the first shot approach. Him. I was using a Canon F1N, 35mm lens. Uh, and I was approaching him then, and i just seen him. Just sitting, if you look at the railing, sir, you'll get a wee better shot now close enough. Let me see. So that's me now coming closer to him, obviously. And uh, obviously I scared the birds away, which didn't, uh, in my mind, I, I, I you know, felt bad about that because he had all the wee birds around him. But if you look at the railings here, um, they're all bent down. They're bent down by people who would have been sitting in the park making themselves wee seats, which I think it's, um, you know, it, it's, it adds a different dimension to it. But that's the second shot anyway, when I'm starting to approach and I'm saying, do you mind take a photograph of me? He just smiled, he said, not a problem. And I'll just show you this one. And this is the shot. And obviously, the wee man, he's looking a wee bit timid there. Um, and most people would be when you get your photograph taken. But I love this photograph because I've captured, keeping in mind, this would have been the, the early 90s. And, but it might as well have been in the 1930s or 1940s. Um, although it's in Belfast, it could have been in parts of England and things like that. Probably, you know, north of England, he's got that style with him. Now, I posted this photograph up on the Facebook page and uh, you know people's comment his name is uh, Willie Laverty and he never apparently somebody commented there and said he actually never married he lived with his brother um, all his life in the Rodney area um, which is Stroke St James's in uh, West Belfast somebody else told me that I think he worked in Celtic Park which was a dog racing track um, I'm not too sure about that but that's what people were saying about him so I just love this photograph because I have captured a man and he was so well received. People were saying how nice of a man he was, a true gentleman. Um, all he liked to have was a wee 20p bats and things like that. So just a typical working class uh, Belfast man. And I wish that I knew things now about, you know, technology. If I had the video recorder, maybe I've interviewed him and said, he tells a story and things like that. And I think that's a powerful thing about photography is that we can actually, um, you know, we, we can take it for granted what we're photographing. Is it just a wee man in the park? But that man is part of, you know, the fabric of West Belfast. So many people know his story. Um, I didn't at the time. I'm only starting to get a few wee stories coming to me. But I just love that photograph. It goes down, uh, what, you ask yourself, it's, where does the imagination stop? You can ask yourself, why did he never marry? Um, was there a long lost love or, or what? 
and that's probably a romantic in me but or was he just happy with his lot he was just happy with being single all his life but the people the feedback they give about him is, is actually he was such a lovely kind gentle man and uh I'm not too sure if that wee can of beer is his own, um, just sitting beside him. Maybe he brings a wee can of beer down, feeds the birds, has a wee pint, and then that's sitting back on his way. But there's the railings, as I was telling you about, the people flattened down. The park would have been used by people obviously going there for a drink, and uh, obviously rather than sitting on the grass and getting their, their asses covered in grass stains, it was far easier to sit with a bent over railing. And... Uh, I just love that photograph. So there you go, guys. This is the story behind this photograph, or photographs, I should say. And that was me approaching him there. Let's see. Would you sat down? Feeding the birds. He hadn't seen me at that stage. And let me see if I get the next one here. Me scaring his birds away. <coughs> Excuse me. Me scaring his birds away. And you could see the man, he was welcoming her, uh, nice smile. And uh, the last photograph would be that one. And shot on film, I think it, more than likely it would have been, I haven't checked the negative, I should have checked the negative frame on the scan. They're poor scans by the way guys, so, uh, but I'm more than likely it would be HP5. I, I used to 90% of the time shoot in um, 400 ISO. It was shot with a Canon F1N with a 35 mil lens on it. Um, I loved filling the frame when I'm doing it, but there you go. That's the story. That's uh, Willie Laverty from West Belfast and uh, the wee man in the park. And, you know, I just think it's, it's, I'd love to know his history. I'd love to know what his story was. And that, I, <coughs> Excuse me, I keep saying it on these videos here that we're capturing the presence of those in the future can look back at the past. And I think if people put more heart into maybe documenting the old characters or even the characters, because a lot of young characters live where we're living, uh, maybe we should be documenting them and taking photographs of them at this moment in time, not just for this moment in time, but for the future generations to look back and, you know, recollect of the times gone by. But this man here, would we all love to go to her, wherever we go to in another reality when we pass over in the spirit that we'd have people saying how wonderful we were, or how kind we were, a lovely man or a lovely woman. Uh, this man here, the, the reputation he had, he was a lovely, lovely person. And I'm glad that I got to uh, take his photograph, his uh, street portrait. There you go, guys, listen, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. You can check me out on Twitter and on Facebook, and also rambleswithmycamera.com. Check out my Flickr page as well. All the links are down below. And also check out the links to the other series of photographs here of the story behind the photographs. I think you'll find something there of interest. And uh, keep taking photographs, guys. And remember this here. Uh, we are capturing the present so those in the future can look back at the past. So make them count. Guys, send you love from Ireland. From uh, the wee park and the wee man. And have a fantastic day ahead.